Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Boy, what a difference one day can make. It's amazing we had snow yesterday morning in the Treasure Valley, and now the mild temperatures have moved in, and it is really nice outside. Temperatures soaring into the 60s. Let's go right to our current weather across the region. And the further south and east you go, Boise, you get a lot more sunshine. Mountain home sunshine, 63. It's 64 in Boise, and you know what? Boise has hit 66 for the high temperature today, keeping in mind we had snow up until the middle part of the day yesterday, and it hit 66 today. What a major change. All the moisture is shifting to the north. You can see the axis of the jet stream. Uh, it's actually just a little north of this, but that moisture flow going right into the west central mountains still. But McCall is up to 41 right now, and so you see the mild weather has moved in. Boise County, you're going to be right on the fringe again tomorrow. It's going to look a lot like this, where points from Boise County northward, a lot of cloud cover from Boise uh, further southward, a better chance for more sunshine down here. But there'll be some areas of clouds coming through. But if you can get some sunshine in your area at a certain time, that's the time it's really going to be nice to go outside because it feels so much warmer with all that sunshine out there. Temperatures again have been comfortable indeed. 39, uh, 36 in Sun Valley right now. Not bad temperatures warming up after all that snow that they've had. Light winds for the East Central Mountains and the Magic Valley making it a really nice day around Twin right now. A good breeze blowing out of the southeast feeding into this cloud cover and storminess to the west. But that's what's keeping us mild as well as it flows downhill. It warms up and so our temperatures could be on the rise. Tomorrow I think they're going to be very similar to what we had during the day today. Here's a lot more of the clear skies here to the south. Some scattered cloud cover in southeast Oregon. That's going to continue to be, I don't want to say an issue, but it's going to be around as we move through the next 24 hours as that jet stream is still bringing some moisture nearby. A little bit of energy will try to come through, but it's only going to be cloud cover. Don't expect any rain. That rain will stay to the north. Portland, Eugene, Seattle will still get that rain. Jet stream bringing that moisture in to the north and west. You'll see right here across southern Idaho that heat pump coming in from the south. Milder weather coming in, and over the week, and the cool weather is going to get right on our doorstep, but I don't think it's going to make it in. So we're going to be in pretty good shape as we head into the weekend. Right now, that's the way it shapes up. As long as it stays on this time frame, if the system picks up and comes a little quicker, it will cool down on Sunday. But right now, that could be the warmest day. Here's my future cast this evening, 7 o'clock tonight, pretty much the way it is now. A few rain snow showers to the north, scattered clouds down to the south, and really tomorrow morning, similar conditions. Cloud cover from Boise Mount, Mountain Home, clearer skies to the south, rain and snow showers up into central Idaho. This is tomorrow afternoon. Still some cloud cover, but the precipitation is just disappearing. I think we'll be in and out of the clouds. Depending depending on where you are in the Treasure Valley. It won't be exactly as you see here, but Friday morning, the entire region will probably have a decent amount of sunshine. I think Friday could be a really nice day as long as this system really doesn't develop all that much as cloud cover as it tracks from south to north. On Saturday, still some cloud cover around. That could be the case into the weekend as well, but I still believe that's when the mild weather will surge on in from the south. So the forecast is looking pretty good as we head into the weekend. Here are the details coming up for tomorrow. Similar to today, we hit 66 in Boise, but most places around Boise did not get quite that warm. So 60 to 65 tomorrow, still a little bit of a breeze, maybe not as breezy as we had it this morning, and a mixture of sunshine and clouds, depending on where you're at and what time of day it is. It'll be changeable. Some scattered showers from, say, Cascade, northward, especially McCall, north and westward. A few showers around rain showers as it's in the 40s. Generally dry Garden Valley, Idaho City, a Pine Featherville, you'll be in the 50s tomorrow. 50 in Sun Valley, 49 in Stanley. Increasing sunshine with light winds. Some nice weather in the East Central Mountains. Maybe a great day to hit Sun Valley or Soldier Mountain with all that fresh snow they've gotten and the comfortable temperatures coming in. Beautiful and twin tomorrow. 66 light winds, sunshine mixed with a few clouds. Here's my precision extended forecast. Look at this weekend coming up. Let's hope this holds, right? Temperatures going down a little bit on Friday with a slight chance for showers. And that one, I'm not quite sure if it's really going to happen, but it's a close call. And then Saturday and Sunday, mixed clouds and sunshine, but with 67 to 72, <laughs> that will make the clouds not be a big deal. Nope. Won't That's care. Time for a spring break. That's spring break a good starts idea. out on a good note, doesn't it? it All does. right. Thanks, yeah. Scott. Thanks on today's Channel 6.